Hi, this is Vernetta from Scrap Innovations, and you can check out my cre um, paper crafting creations at www.scrapinnovations.blogspot.com. Um, today I want to show you a baby mini album that I did um, for an order. Basically from my uh, mini album that I did for my coworker, um, I received an order to do another one um, for someone that wanted to give it as a gift, um, except this time they wanted it for this one they wanted it bigger and it was a girl so I got an opportunity to do a girl one and because they wanted it bigger I um, broke out my Cricut and um, to cut the onesie shape because the Sizzix die is only about four by five or something like that so basically this onesie is about ten by nine so it's about a 10 by 9 onesie. It's a, a good, you know, substantial size. And, oh, my, it was so much fun making this. It took a long time because I craft kind of slow, but it was so fun. So I'm going to take you through. I'm hoping that this video comes out okay, but I'm also going to take still pictures so you can see close up. So this is the front. Um, I don't know what this paper is I used for the cover. It was an open stock piece of paper that I got from um, Joann's because I didn't like any of the other papers I had for a cover. So um, it has like you know, a whole bunch of stuff on it. It says baby girl and a whole bunch of little sentiments all over it. Um, but I also, what I did is, let me come a little closer. I cut this phrase baby girl from the Sizzix. There's a Sizzix die um, that has um, phrases. And what I did is I embossed it with clear embossing powder. And then over here, I stamped and um, with Versamark and embossed it in, I think it's a bronze or copper embossing powder, Our. So it says Our Baby Girl. And then this is just a ribbon, lacy kind of ribbon I had. I guess the camera's not focusing. It's sort of a lace ribbon I had that I thought would be nice to have a little border on, on the... Um, Wants it to make, you know, make a shake. And then this is a recollections flower that I um, had uh, purchased from Michaels. And I um, sprayed it with pearl glimmer mist. I believe it, yes, it's pearl glimmer mist. I sprayed it with pearl glimmer mist, so a little shimmer. And then so fun, I had this subtle pink ruffle um, ribbon. So I put that on the hands and ar around the um leg leg area of the onesie so that it was kind of embellished now this one i did the orientation a little different <laughs> um i did it so that when you flip it up all the pages are right side up and um, unfortunately maybe i should have put this next page what i want in it right side up because it keeps slipping out i have to see if i could make, make that tighter but just also want to point out these cute little brads i mean eyelets these are ones I got from Michael. They're in the shape of butterflies, and I thought it worked perfectly. The color fit perfectly, and there's butterflies all over this, so that was kind of cool. Anyway, I'm going to take you to the next page, and the paper that keeps wanting to come out. So basically, I did it the different orientation. Instead of having to flip the book around, when you flip it up, the image is upside down on the onesie, but right side up for you, so you don't have to continue flipping. So basically, this is what this is supposed to be. Okay, let's see if I could. My craft room, oh my gosh, I would not show you guys because it is totally embarrassing, but my craft room is a nightmare. It's like World War III went on in here or something. Um, anyway, so this is the second page, and I don't know why this thing is not um, zoom in properly, but basically I recreated a sentiment I used on the first onesie I made, and it says, when you were born, you cried and the world rejoiced. So I did a crying baby, and this idea, um, this bunting, baby bunting idea is from Laura from Paper Phenomenon, I'm sorry, Laura from Following the Paper Trail, and so I did a little, um, bunting, and I embossed it, it says Sweet Pea here, again I'm gonna take still pictures, and basically it's a crying baby that you just slide in here, when you take it out there's a mat so, um, she can put a picture, um, and then slide this in, and then the baby comes out and what I did here is I embossed special delivery on the tag and I also embossed um, where she could write in the baby's name weight all the stats 
and a little cute stamp. Then you flip it over and there's some journaling. And then it slides right back in here. And she can do some writing on this if she wants. She can mat another photo on the back of this. Oh, whatever she wants to do. So that's the second page. I had so much fun with this album. Um, the third page um, is basically, it says, So Sweet. This is also, the So Sweet is also punched from a Sizzix die. I'm starting to love these Sizzix dies. Sometimes if you just need a quick sentiment that they have, it's so much easier than the cricket, fooling with the cricket and paper types and, and, and the temperamentalness of paper quality and all that stuff. And with the Sizzix, you can cut deeper. No, I'm not, you know, endorsing, you know, I don't work for Sizzix or Provocraft, but it's just sometimes easier. Anyway, I stopped hoarding. I let go of one of my fabric brads. I love these fabric brads. And so for the O, I put a little flower fabric brad on there. I'm not going to even try because it doesn't look like this camera. Shows me a whole lot. <clears throat> okay. So then the next page. Very simple but so cute. It's Daddy's Little Princess. And so the Daddy can mat a picture of him and, and his new little baby girl there. And put some bling for the eyes. This was cut from Sugar and Spice, I believe. And Daddy's, um, of course, there was no apostrophe in Don Juan. I don't know why, and I didn't want to fool with it. So I just cut this, welded it, cut it from Don Juan cartridge. I have no idea why there was no apostrophe, but I couldn't. So it's not a mistake. It's just there was none. Um, <clears throat> the fourth page is Mommy and Me. Can't forget Mommy. So this is um, basically bling um, lettering that I had bought from Michael's. And, and me and then some other bling on a um, lavender mat and so um, Jamie can put a picture of her and her daughter and then um, the flowers just some felt and tool flowers that I put for fabric um, brad the fifth page basically it says precious it's, um, again, another, another word bling that I bought from Michaels and roses on it. And it's just a double mat this time I did. And I love these. I'm so addicted to these flowers. I made these, um, flowers from the Sizzix, uh, 3D flower die. And this is basically the smaller flower, but you notice that it looks like it's different sizes. And I cut these out of felt. So much fun and put pearls in the center. And basically with felt, you can wrap it as tight or as loose. So really get um, a lot of difference in, in roses or flowers. And um, it's just so flexible felt. It, actually, I feel like it's a little bit easier than paper sometimes. Um, <clears throat> okay, the next page. I love this page. This is the first time I'm attempting to do this. And um, it's also inspired by Laura from Following the Paper Trail, her special delivery Album. She did a little peekaboo page, um, and so I did that. And basically, let's see, I gotta hold it and see. It says um, for orange backing, and I cut the peekaboo out of plaid, green plaid, kind of contrasted. Um, and I also embossed the peekaboo uh, so that it had a little sheen to it. And I also like to do that, especially if I'm giving this to other people, so that it's durable. You know, this is something they're gonna be using over and over. And so basically, wait for it. So much fun. So basically, you want to put a, a blow-up picture of your daughter smiling, um, smiling, or um, mostly you want to get her face, a face shot where her eyes are clear, and um, you want to line it up in here so that the hands cover it, and then you can do peekaboo. It's so cute. And then there's all kinds of sentiments on this paper too. By the way, this paper stack except for the front cover is the DCWV um, Nana's Nursery Girl Stack. And then this next page, all kinds of elements. I haven't made Laura's album yet, but I've I've used some of the elements from all of it. I just haven't gotten around to making all those buntings and stuff. But one of these days, that's my goal. But um, this is another element. I basically cut these chipboard. Uh, I mean, I didn't cut this. This is chipboard alphabet from, I don't know the, it's, I would say it's K and Company or DCWV, one of their... 
What happened? Sorry, I think my screensaver went on. Let me see if I can get back into my computer. Oh, what's going on? I can't see my camera. My computer screensaver went on and now it won't come off. Come on, come on. This is not my day, I tell you. Okay, I'm gonna have to definitely edit this video. Oh, God. Hold on, let me see. Technical difficulties, so let me see what I can do. You might still be able to hear me, but I just blocked the camera because I have no idea what it's seeing. I'm sure you don't want to see me in my PJs. Okay. Well, I don't want you to see me in my PJs. Okay, so we're back. And I'm going to have to do some serious editing. So basically, this page says Angel. And it's got, these are all chipboard shapes from that, K. I want to say it's definitely K and Company or something. And it's like pink and greenish and stuff. And an elephant. And this is another thing from Laura. It's a bonnet, and you flip it up, and she could either mat a photo um, on one side, journal on the other, or she could do photo, photo, or just one photo here. So, so cute with lace and stuff. I didn't have any fabric like Laura did to do the whole thing fabric, so I improvised, you know? Gotta do what you gotta do sometime. So that's a bonnet. I absolutely love it. Um, next page, the clothesline page. I had to do it again. The spit happens. I just love that saying. I did it before and I just recreated it on my um, computer. Because um, that other one I did for the first mini was a vellum quote. Um, and so I did some but buttons here. And basically the phrase is suspended from clothespins. So cute. And so, you know, she could mat, um, she could mat a photo on here. Next. I love this. Again, I have been, I just got a Sizzix order in. I had ordered some dyes from the Sizzix um, clearance, out, the Sizzix, Sizzix outlet website. And oh my goodness, I'm so glad I did. And it came just in time. Thank you, Sizzix. And I know I could cut some of this stuff on my Cricut. But um, I said, well, since I got some of these dyes, I might as well use it. So the bath time I cut from my Cricut, I believe it was either... It was the sugar and spice cartridge. It's the light cartridge that you get from Walmart. So I cut the bath time from that, embossed it again, put a bubble for the, the dot on the eye of time. Um, and then this cute little tub, and I finally figured out how scissors come. Like, how do they, they don't give instructions on layer, and how do you get the image on the box? It's so frustrating. But of course, this was a simpler one. Um, this is the bathtub from the Sizzix dye. And you just have to keep cutting it out in all the different colors and snip the pieces and layer it. It's a little annoying, but um, especially for the more complicated ones that they don't have instructions for. But it came out really cool. And then I did glossy accents to make it more dimensional. And then this is the little bubbles and the little soap or whatever sponge. The rubber ducky. Can't forget the rubber ducky. And then over here on this side is just a little brush. And a comb or a bath scrubber thingy, which probably wouldn't use on a baby, but still, it's just embellishment. So, so cute. And again, you will see closer pictures on my um, blog or post pictures. Sorry. And then the final page, I completely love this. I got this idea from Bug Junkie. Her website, apparently, she was inspired by um, uh, Arlene. I believe it's Arlene uh, when she did her uh, mini album. And so she did one. She cut her onesie from, I think, New Arrival or B is for, um, I'm not sure. I think it's the New Arrival onesie. So she cut a different onesie shape, but I just love the Sleepy Time um, page she did. So I 
took this idea. The crib is cut from, I want to say it's, uh, it's either New Arrival or Everyday Paper Dolls. I have a funny feeling it's Everyday Paper Dolls. Yes, the crib is cut from Everyday Paper Dolls. And the moon is cut from New Arrival. And I just did the moon with the little hat and stuff in different colors. And then the crib and stuff is popped out it a little bit. Let me move back so you can see. Then um, let me show you how it works. I have a piece of paper. Basically, she can map the photo because it slides. See that? It's a little stiff. Probably have to um, move it up a little bit. But basically, she slides. She can either slide the photo and just tuck it there, which wouldn't be a bad idea. Slide the photo, tuck it, or she could glue it down. But tucking is fine. It's a tight fit. So, um, and then there's little sheets and I rimmed the edges from my, um, Martha Stewart punch and I think this is the optic dot one. And then I put a sentiment down here. It says the only thing worth stealing is a kiss from a sleeping child. So, and then a little pom pom on the, um, the sleeping moons thing. So cute. And then the back is just plain. It's got um, an I lost uh, sentiment, welcome to the mommy club, and then handmade and my information on the back. Love the pattern paper. Again, this is the front, and I have to seriously edit this video because I'm up to like 18 minutes. Well, 17.08. But um, thanks for looking, and visit me at, um, again, screenovations.blogspot.com, and I'll have still pictures on here of this mini album. So thanks a lot for, oh, you know, and I put fibers and, you know, just a little bit of fibers to give, to hide the ring and kind of give it some interest. But thanks for watching. Bye.